Good morning, traders. Welcome to this video again on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. And by the way, good news for those that were waiting for the Ultimate EA profit share model to be back. We started again right here, right now. So feel free to join at no upfront cost or freeze, uh, fees. Sorry, uh, It's uh, available for you. There is a minimum deposit of 1,500 uh, euros. And of course, you need to be able to open an account with our partnered broker. Some countries can't. If you're from a, a certain countries, you might not be able to do that. Then reach out to us uh, if you still would like to join us in a different way uh, through the email. All right. But otherwise, uh, yeah, the results have been uh, very good so far with 5 and 3% risk. We've been trading one year now with Delta MEA. So certainly something maybe you want to consider. Uh, fully automated trading system. All right. Uh, Euro dollar is at a tough spot. I... Uh, it, it completed uh, a leg down, as I suspected. Um, we had kind of like a five-wave pattern here, probably a wave A. Uh, bounced at the 112.50 and the 144 EMA zone. So that also made sense. But this bounce could be, therefore, a wave B. So I'm a little bit hesitant. Although it looks bullish and it looks strong and there's an uptrend, I, I personally am hesitant here. I wouldn't trade it as yet. Um it made kind of sense maybe here with this flag to look for push up and it did push up but it is getting into really a heavy resistance spot with a lot of resistance on the left and maybe a head and shoulders pattern so i'm not saying it's impossible to trade to the upside but i would probably rather wait for a pullback uh and then a rebreak above the 20 minute ema uh, that could maybe be worth it like something like this, a shallow pullback. You see, if it goes too strongly below the 20 minute EMA, then it's probably making some type of wave C that could challenge the previous bottom. And uh, well, it could actually go not as deep. It can go to this level, this level, or break, or break uh, this um, this bottom and maybe go to even to 112, something like this, for instance, and hit this trend line and then bounce. So it could really go anywhere to 112, 112.50, 112.75. If it breaks through and below this 21 EMA with strong force, then it could do that move. Or if it breaks flag and the 21 EMA flips down and it starts to continue like that, that would also make it more likely that we see some type of retracement. Um, if price, however, makes some type of correction like that, but then starts to re-break, well, then... Specifically, if this is strong price action, we might be then seeing a, a, a third kind of attempt to push through the resistance and we might finally see a successful break with the target at 114.25 for the moment. Not a lot of space, but uh, yeah, that could be the next target. And of course, it could extend even to the round level of 115. So overall, I'm bullish, but I think a bigger pullback is would be pleasant at this point, uh, certainly in a strong uptrend. And price is above the 78.6 fib. So yeah, there is potential for upside. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's, it's certainly something that could happen. Um, but I think a retest of the support would be would be nice. Um, ultimately, this looks like a wave three. So if we get an ABC here, that could you know fit well as a wave four, and then we should get an upside. I think as a wave five, targeting. Uh, around that 115 level where there's a WIS 9 and 100 FIB. There seems to be a good confluence zone. So let's see if we get the pullback and bounce or if we get a break or if we get a kind of a, a small push and then a bounce flag and continuation higher. Both, in my view, looking bullish. Uh, the pound USD slightly more bullish. It reached actually the 1, 2, 3.6 FIB. In our video on Monday, we were looking at the market about here. Uh, we got a correction, a higher high, a correction, and again, a higher high. It's kind of making uh, almost an expanding wedge from that point of view. Um, a, B, C, D, E maybe, and then again up. I don't know. Could go down to the 144 EMA at this spot as well. Maybe some retracement is possible. Here it is at a 127.50 level. And maybe a continuation of this pattern is, is possible. Uh, let's take a look at the four-hour chart. Price has stayed away from the 144 EMA for very long. It's way above WIS 8. So some on the four-hour chart. So, so you know, there is a, eventually a, a decent probability that price will make that retracement uh, back to 
that 144 MA, which of course could still be roughly a bouncing spot. Not exactly the 144 MA in that area, okay? This could all be a part of a wave three and that wave three might be finally finishing. So it could be the same kind of situation as the Euro dollar where some type of retracement uh, is possible. We already had a retracement into the 20 way here and here and here. And it might be running a bit out of steam uh, and it could retest the 20 way a second time quicker than, uh, than last time. Here you can see there was, it took longer here to retest the 20 MA, here too. Now we might be retesting the 20 MA uh, a little bit more often. We could still see a higher high before we make a bigger pullback, in my view. Um, what else? Well, I mean, it depends also on this four hour price action, to be honest. It's a tough spot. So sorry for this lengthy uh, explanations. But if there is a wick, some kind of pin bar, that of course would create the pullback more likely but if the if the bulls close in strong here yeah then it could also just be a breakout spot you know we we do have fractal sailing above the 20 ma so if it does push above 127.82 there could still be that immediate push up into 129 i wouldn't rule that out either but this breakout here i would be looking on a 50 minute chart so if we get a if we get a breakout above 127.80 i would go to the 50 minute chart myself at least Hang on. Seems to be freezing somehow. And uh, there we go. And yeah, basically look for a flag after the break like this and look for continuation. I think that would be the, the most kind of the safer way of trading it just because of the fact that price is uh, hitting resistance and just to avoid false breakouts basically. Well, that's my two cents. And anyhow, in any case, we'll be back, of course, next week, 15th of June, uh, well, either on Monday or maybe even the Sunday before that, as usual, with a new update. Wish you all great trading. Cheers. Bye-bye.